Well, this week on Monday, 13 October, Sikorsky unveiled a new fully unmanned version of the Black Hawk helicopter, featuring a completely transformed front end that replaces the cockpit with futuristic clamshell doors. Depending on its configuration, the U-Hawk, as it has been named, the U for unmanned, can move thousands of pounds of outsized cargo internally and slung underneath, as well as deploy uncrewed ground vehicles and fire dozens of launched components, like surveillance and reconnaissance drones or loitering munitions. A U-Hawk demonstrator converted from an ex-U.S. Army UH-60L was on display at the AUSA. The Association of the U.S. Army's main annual conference in Washington, D.C., which opened Monday, 13 October. Sikorsky also refers to the design as the S-70 UAS, or Unmanned Aircraft System, with S-70 being the company's internal model number for the H-60 variants. The U-Hawk builds on the company's past work on a pilot-optional vehicle, or what they call an OPV version of the Black Hawk, which has been flying for years, as well as its proprietary Matrix Autonomy Flight Control software. The development of Matrix first began more than a decade ago and was supported early on by the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA. From concept to reality took just 10 months as Sikorsky has transformed a UH-60L Black Hawk helicopter into the U-Hawk, a versatile autonomous unmanned aircraft system that offers 25% more cargo space than a typical Black Hawk. As mentioned, the most visible change is that Sikorsky replaced the cockpit section with actuated clamshell doors and ramps and swapped conventional flight controls with a third-generation low-cost fly-by-wire system integrated with its proprietary Matrix Autonomy Software technology. With the Matrix Autonomy Software and a new fly-by-wire system, the aircraft can take off, fly, and land entirely under autonomous control. Rich Benton, Sikorsky Vice President and General Manager, told reporters that a lot of our customers said, hey, we need to be able to move things into theater and need to be able to move them in mass. And a lot of the drones out there now may be able to carry 100 or 500 pounds. So he said we looked introspectively asking, what do we have? And since they already had an autonomous Black Hawk in use today, he said, why couldn't we just take the cockpit out of that? and make that a UAS or an unmanned aerial system, and thus the U-Hawk was born. However, the U-Hawk adaptation of the Black Hawk does much more than simply remove the pilots, because it offers significantly greater capability than crewed versions for certain missions. The design also features a different hardware backend for the Matrix Autonomy Package, and a revised fly-by-wire control system compared to the previous autonomous Black Hawk. Still, the most eye-catching feature on the new uncrewed version is this new front section and revised internal arrangement. Sikorsky says that we have completely removed the cockpit, the pilot, and also the crew chief stations of the aircraft, adding that this gives us the entire cabin and cockpit area for either a logistics operation or mission support operations. Sikorsky says the U-Hawk will also be able to self-deploy out to a range of 1,600 nautical miles and have a total unrefueled endurance of 14 hours. The uncrewed Black Hawk can also carry internal fuel tanks for increased range or extended time on station. But increased range while carrying a useful payload still opens up significant new opportunities, especially for operations across the broad expanses of the Pacific but also elsewhere around the globe. Payload-wise, Sikorsky expects the U-Hawk to be able to carry up to 7,000 pounds internally, or 9,000 pounds slung underneath, or a mix of both up to a maximum rating of 10,000 pounds, which is roughly in line with the payload capacity by weight of a standard manned UH-60L Black Hawk helicopter. The U-Hawk is designed to perform a wide range of missions, transporting ammunition, delivering supplies, or deploying drone swarms from its cargo bay. It can also carry uncrewed ground vehicles and self-deploy over 1,600 nautical miles or about 2,960 kilometers, or remain airborne for up to 14 hours without refueling. Instead of a pilot, the U-Hawk is commanded through its tablet interface so that with a single touch, operators can open the clamshell doors, load cargo, and launch the aircraft. 
Again, once airborne, Matrix Autonomy then handles the entire flight plan using onboard sensors and algorithms to navigate and avoid obstacles. So by removing the cockpit and crew system, Sikorsky has created the first autonomous cargo helicopter derived from the Black Hawk family. Additionally, the company says a retrofit can be replicated at scale, offering a lower cost solution that retains 95% commonality with the existing UH-60 Black Hawk fleet. Ultimately, general cargo carrying is envisioned as a key role for the uncrewed Black Hawk. Sikorsky says the U-Hawk will be able to carry up to four military standard joint modular intermodal containers spread between the main cabin and slung underneath, compared with just two containers that the existing Black Hawk variants can lug around today. U-Hawk will also be able to carry a single standard ammunition pod used in the M270 Multiple Launch Rocket Systems, or MLRS, and 142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket Systems, or HIMARS, as well as a pair of Naval Strike Missiles in their launch canisters. All of this is designed for direct support of the Maneuver Commander. So imagine that the Army is conducting an air assault. You would envision the U-Hawk flying ahead of the soldiers. Sikorsky's Bentley explained it this way as the U-Hawk comes into the landing zone area. First, it dispenses launch defects out of the sides of the aircraft out of what is called the launch effects quiver. And then it lands, it disembarks the UGV, and then the aircraft departs. And all this is done ahead of any soldiers putting boots on the ground. Bentley also said the company envisions U-Hawks performing non-military missions, including supporting wildfire fighting and disaster relief operations. A number of civilian operators already fly crewed H-60 helicopter variants in these roles. But regardless of the mission configuration, Sikorsky is designing the U-Hawk to provide all of its capabilities with minimal training and sustainment requirements. Sikorsky says individuals without aviation-specific skill sets can be readily trained to operate the uncrewed Black Hawk via the Matrix touchscreen tablets. The Matrix system has a demonstrated ability to get platforms like the existing autonomous Black Hawk between set waypoints in a highly autonomous manner. U-Hawks could also take over certain missions in lower threat environments from crewed platforms presenting the potential for additional operational flexibility and cost benefits. Being able to autonomously move even a few hundred pounds of critical cargo such as spare parts between far-flung and remote locations separated by many hundreds of miles without the need for a fully qualified aircrew could be a boon even in lower threat areas. The fact that it can move much larger loads internally without the range penalties of sling loading is an even bigger sell. And all this could be done without adding a new type to the Army shrinking helicopter fleet and leveraging the H-60s, S-70s global supply chain is also a very attractive factor as well. The U-Hawk aircraft's first flight is expected in 2026, positioning it as one of the most capable rotary wing cargo drones under development and a potential model for future uncrewed logistics in both military and civil contexts.